Hello, my name is Manuel Gomez Marzoa. I am a laser business support engineer for GF Machining Solutions. In this presentation, I will show you our latest developments on laser micro machining technologies. This presentation uh, first describes the GF Machining Solutions technology portfolio and uh, uh, industries where we are present to then focus on laser micro-machining applications, namely micro-engraving, micro-cutting and micro-drilling. The group Gero Fisher, or GF, consists of many uh, different divisions. One of them is the machining divisions or machining solutions. Um, the group Gero Fisher is a global uh, partner and we have also a, a local footprint in more than 40, 41 countries around the world. In 2023, uh, the uh, gross sales was uh, a, a little bit less than 900 million Swiss francs, and we have 3,400 3, employees, more or less. In the map on the right of the slide, you see many different stars that depict the locations of our application centers or technology centers, where we have a presence of uh, application engineers to provide uh, local uh, application support to our customers. Uh, and obviously there we, are, we have also a presence for laser technologies. GF Machining Solutions stands out by, his, uh, by its unique technology portfolio. In-house, we, uh, uh, we produce equipment in high-speed milling, in electric discharge machining, be wire EDM or die sinking EDM. We produce also, uh, we manufacture laser and micro-machining equipment, and finally also additive manufacturing. Um, under the brand of StepTech, uh, GF Machining Solutions produces the, their own spindles for uh, milling technologies. Um, and also we have the brand of System 3R that is focused on tooling and automation for all uh, the manufacturing technologies above. We have a digital uh, business unit that, um, uh, that aims to um, basically uh, enhance these manufacturing technologies with digital uh, technologies. And finally, uh, we have a service and training, uh, services and training um, uh, business unit that is extremely uh, important for us and for our customers and we have a great reputation on that. Laser applications can be classified in two types. We have from one side 3D laser surface processing applications. The goal here is to texture, uh, um, to apply a texture on the surface of the workpiece for aesthetic or functional uh, purposes. The other types of application entail the removal of material. These are what we call laser micromachining applications. Here we see at the center of the slide uh, an example of laser microengraving. We removed everything around these islands. And here at the right side, you see uh, a piece that has been uh, completely cut and drilled uh, by laser. All these applications require extreme accuracy and uh, a clean machining and they are all made possible by the use of the latest generation of ultra short pulse uh, laser sources, namely femtosecond laser sources. This slide uh, uh, summarizes several laser 3D surface processing applications in different markets. In automotive, for instance, uh, there is a trend uh, regarding the car lighting. Now the lights of the cars are becoming some sort of the signature of the car or the signature of their styling. And uh, we see more and more uh, these inserts that guide the light and create effects. These plastic inserts are injected with plastic, with, uh, plastic injection molds that are often uh, textured by laser. These are microstructures um, uh, that we uh, produce by laser, otherwise it can be produced by high-speed milling. But at, uh, at a longer, uh, this requires a longer manufacturing process and it's also more costly. In medical, we texture uh, uh, implants uh, on, on the whole surface to create a sort of sunblasting effect 
that enhances OCO integration. In packaging, our customers texture mold, um, uh, bottle molds um, to create the texture we see in the, final, in, the, in the final PET bottle, but we also make the neck rings as well and some of the uh, bottle cap, uh, bottle cap um, molds. And finally, in consumer goods and electronics, uh, GF has a strong presence with, uh, uh, in the industry where customers uh, texture uh, directly the uh, plastic injection molds for phones, computers and tablets, and as well for uh, wearables where, we, uh, where our customers texture uh, molds to create the bracelets, for instance. Regarding laser micro-machining, uh, we have a presence in watchmaking, where our customers uh, engrave different texts and shapes on different parts of the, of, the, of the watch. Like for instance, here is the back case of a watch where uh, the customer engraved different serial numbers, uh, text, etc. And also created a, a nice artistic design with uh, mixing colors and, uh, and engraving. So this is just one setup. For, for, uh, for this part. And here at the bottom we see a watch dial where uh, a white engraving has been created around it and this is a pure five axis application. Micromachining uh, with laser are, is also very present in tooling creation. Here is, there is a bottle cap mold. The difficulty here is to create the grooves that has to be, have to be vertical and also the texture at the, at the bottom of the bottle cap just in one step. This is a five axis application that requires extreme accuracy and extreme repeatability from one cavity to another. These are uh, also lead frames. Uh, in this case, uh, this slot has been already created and what has to be done is to widen this slot at, at, the, uh, at the surface level and create some chambers and laser is perfect for that. Here is a spinneret, which is a tool to weave uh, textile fibers and create cloth uh, used for clothes and equipment. And in this case, it has to be uh, drilled with a particular shape, this three branch shape that we see here, and that fits within a circle of 0.5 millimeters in diameter. And it has to be extremely clean. The edges has to be extremely clean, otherwise the, the cloth or the, text, the, the fibers will catch on, uh, on, the, on the edges and, and break. And finally, here are some parts also for the medical, uh, for the medical industry that, has been, that have been drilled or cut by laser, like for example, this, um, uh, this stent. All the examples shown up, and up until now, uh, they are uh, possible, most of them, thanks to our machines and uh, thanks to the Femto second laser, laser technologies. Uh, but this is not the only uh, key element for success in this story. Our unique software portfolio is what makes it possible. We have a complete CAM solution that is called Laser Suite 360. Uh, this encompasses different, different uh, um, modules that allow the user to, for example, with laser cam, uh, create engraving and cleaning of, of, uh, of uh, surfaces. So here we focus mostly on re uh, material removal, but also it's possible to do cutting and drilling uh, laser toolpath as well. Laser design is focused on texturing or 3D surface processing. Here is uh, the, the, the process uh, entails using a gray, grayscale image that is mapped onto a, uh, a 3D surface to create some sort of skin. And laser design calculates uh, the laser toolpath uh, required to do this. It automatically creates the patches and also uh, hides the, front, the, the borders between them. All this is done automatically. And finally, we have a laser toolbox module composed by different elements like laser control, simulator, laser viewer, and laser PMT that come in support of the other two modules to create finally the laser program that is launched into, uh, onto the laser machine. 
Now let's move into uh, onto some mi laser microengraving applications. Here are the three applications I'd like to show you regarding laser microengraving. Uh, the first uh, application, uh, it's an embossing die uh, demo part, looks like an embossing die plate, let's say. Um, the second example regards the creation of uh, micro patterns on tungsten carbide that resemble what is used in ultrasonic welding tooling. And the last part, it's a surface mount chip inductor that has been also manufactured using a unique combination of laser and electric discharge machining. The first example is a demo part that we designed inspired by the features we usually find in embossing die tools. This is a 42 by 42 millimeters uh, cavity that it, uh, has to be machined on tungsten carbide H40S. As always with, as always with laser ablation uh, applications, the, uh, starting, the, the uh, quality of the starting surface has to be extremely good. Here uh, the starting surface was polished to RA below 0.1 micron and the plate flatness as well was quite good at plus minus 2 micron. The goals here are to machine these, uh, all these shapes uh, with a, to um, a total uh, target depth of 0.287 uh, millimeters and the surface roughness has to be better than RA 0.4 microns. The next slides summarize the measurements performed on these embossing die demo parts. Starting with flatness of the uh, bottom of the cavity. I'd like to point out that we manufactured several of these demo parts uh, using different uh, laser uh, machining strategies. The first one is a standard machining strategy or a standard laser tool path. And this provided a cavity flatness that is at plus minus 7 micron, which is not the best we can do. Indeed, we have a precision mode or precision laser tool path uh, that it's calculated differently and it provides, in terms of flatness, a much better result within plus minus 3 micron for this particular case. The only downside of this mode is that it takes uh, the demo part takes longer to manufacture than with the standard toolpath uh, mode. This slide depicts the dimensional measurements of one of the features uh, uh, present in our embossing die demo part. In, in particular, it, it, we will measure the profile of this rib that is in the middle of the embossing die uh, demo part. And here are the results. First, there is the theoretical profile in blue. Uh, the actual measurement, the actual part, uh, the profile is, uh, we, uh, we see an excess of material that you can see in green that comes over the blue part. Uh, and we have some uh, tolerance range uh, represented by the uh, red lines uh, that is within plus minus 25 micro. We also measure a few of the, uh, of the uh, parameters that are important for, uh, dimension, uh, for this dimension, which are the steps and the angle and also the radius of this corner. And here are the results. Starting by this angle. This angle theoretically should be a little bit more than 38 degrees, 38.237 degrees and we are uh, a bit above 39 degrees, so we have a delta of around 0.8 degrees that was deemed uh, acceptable by, the, by, um, by several um, experts on this field. We have also uh, two, the two steps. Uh, the biggest one, we see that we actually are uh, deeper than we, used to, than we are, are required to, do, to be by about 25 micron. This is quite a lot and has to be corrected in the machining. Uh, the smaller step, uh, we have the same problem. We are a bit deeper uh, by about uh, four, uh, 14 micron, 15 micron more or less. And uh, interestingly, 
we are um, we have an, a, a radius here that is actually smaller than it has to it, it should be uh, so we have a uh, a curve here that is actually sharper than it used to, than it has to be by about uh, 13 mic uh, 13 micron in radius last measurement I'd like to show uh, is, uh, is the surface roughness measurements on the bottom of the plate. What we've done is to scan the whole cavity with uh, a confocal microscope, more precisely with a sensor far S-NEOX, and then use two profiles of the scan to determine the RA. And the results are the following. We have a measured RA on X and Y, around 0.23 microns, which is uh, better than the, four, uh, the 0.4 microns that were, uh, that were requested as goal for this uh, demo part. Of course, we, uh, we used the uh, proper cutoff um, um, and, fil cut cut and filters for uh, these RA measurements. Uh, according to the ISO 4287 uh, norm. Mm -hmm. So finally, for this embossing die demo part, we see that uh, in terms of flatness, we are at plus minus three micron. In terms of dimensions of the features within the plate, we always have an excess of material. And regarding surface roughness, we are well within the target. So this uh, shows the capabilities that we that our laser micromachining technology uh, provides. Moving on to the next example, which regards uh, engraving these micro patterns on tungsten carbide. Um, as you can see, this is the tungsten carbide part. You will see two sets of circles. Each one has a different uh, pattern and the inner circle has uh, features, as you can see here, these are truncated pyramids. The features in the inner circle are half the size of the features at the outer circle. And we have different patterns that we find in, in the industry in this particular case. This is for uh, ultrasonic welding tools. And here are, for instance, some pyramids. And um, we don't see very, very well. Here we see the actual positive pyramids. The total height here on the outer circle is 0.5 millimeters, and the, uh, so here are the pyramids in the inner circle are 0.25 millimeters in height.
This slide shows uh, the dimensional measurements of one of the patterns found in this tool. And these are uh, these spheres or semispheres we find here in the inner circle. The profile is, is measured like that using a sensor of our S Neox. And here are the results. In terms of radius, uh, we are at um, 0.1253 millimeters for a theoretical uh, radius of 0 0.125 millimeters. So we have a delta that is extremely small of uh, less than uh, half a micron. Uh, in terms of depth, we have uh, a depth actually that is within one micron of the target. We are extremely satisfied with the result performed on this part. And this comes also from an industry case and, uh, and is one of the most uh, accurate uh, machines we have ever done relative to a single feature. The last uh, um, laser microengraving case, uh, it's an interesting combination of laser and die sinking EDM, as you will see. This real case uh, from industry involves the manufacturing of a surface chip mount inductor, which is this tool that you can see here. Now this tool uh, uh, underwent a, a design review. And now uh, the final shape or the, the shape at the tip that has to be done is some, some sort of toroid with quite vertical walls inside and outside. So the customer now needs two electrodes to manufacture, uh, two types of electrodes to manufacture these tools. And these electrodes are made of uh, copper tungsten. And the shape accuracy required in the, tool, in the tool at the end is plus minus 10 microns. So the customer uh, reviewed his manufacturing process and uh, he was able to um, uh, do the roughing and the finishing by die sinking EDM entirely uh, using six electrodes per tool and a total machining time of 34 minutes eight and 17 seconds per tool. This time does not include the time required to machine, uh, to mill uh, these six electrodes, which is uh, non-negligible, of course. The customer then came to us and say, well, can you, I heard that you can do great things with laser. Can you do this by laser? It will save me a lot of pain. Actually, uh, it's quite hard. Um, we were reluctant to even try because uh, there are some vertical walls here. Uh, also inside this, uh, the cavity is pretty small and the result has to be pretty good. And the time is finally quite competitive. So. What we proposed instead to the customer was maybe the laser can do the roughing part, uh, create the pre-shape, let's say, leave a stock uh, of material, and finally you can just do the, finish, the, finishing, uh, the finishing process by EDM. And the customer tried exactly that. By laser, uh, by, uh, by, by roughing with laser and finishing by EDM, the total time was 21 minutes and 9 seconds using only 3 electrodes per tool compared to 6 electrodes per tool uh, with the standard uh, or traditional manufacturing process. This slide shows uh, the actual manufacturing process. First, we uh, have a setup with the tool on uh, a clamp equipped with a System 3R pallet. This allows us to easily set it up on the laser uh, machine. We do the laser roughing in very fast in less than three and a half minutes. And then we move the part to the form P350 to perform the final, the finishing cycles with die sinking using only three electrodes for a total time of, as I said, 21 minutes and nine seconds. Now this case uh, shows the, uh, the the great synergy that we can have uh, with of laser and EDM and in this case also System 3R to create something unique for our customer. Uh, yeah, the customer had to integrate laser into his manufacturing flow in addition to uh, die sinking EDM and milling, but he shortens the manufacturing time by 38%. Uh, he gets ex ex still uh, an excellent machining accuracy on his tool, having a final depth and lateral size within, well within the tolerance of plus minus 10 micron that was specified. And uh, using System 3R 
pallets and chuck systems, it's super easy to move one part to another and it's super easy to then automate this, the, the, uh, the system. And finally, he has to manage half the, the, the amount of electrodes as before. So uh, this is a unique position for GF Machining Solutions because our, our unique portfolio allows us to um, combine two different technologies and uh, in this way um, um, use the strengths of each techno uh, manufacturing technology at the best, at the best level. Now, we're finished with laser microengraving. Let's move to mic laser microcutting and micro drilling examples. I'd like to show two laser micro drilling and micro cutting application examples. The first will be the laser drilling of a probe card guide. Um, and the second one will be the manufacturing of this watchmaking part that you see on the right of the slide. These two parts were uh, machined with uh, a Microlution ML5 machine equipped with a femtosecond laser source and a five axis uh, praxis head. The first application is laser drilling of squares on a probe card guide. Uh, probe card guides are used, are overimposed to uh, um, um, electronic cards and they expose, in these holes, they expose the contacts that have to be uh, tested for these probe cards, for these uh, electronic cards, sorry. In this particular case, uh, we've done 35 by 35 micron squares that are separated adjacently by seven, only seven microns of wall of material. And we have a corner ready in these squares uh, that are 3.5 micron. Uh, our achievements uh, in, this, uh, in, in this type of applications are position accuracy of uh, within plus minus three micron, uh, minimum distance between adjacent holes of seven microns. Um, we've done um, uh, holes with a size accuracy within plus minus 0.6 micron. And last but not least, the aspect ratio we can achieve is about one to 10, means that we can drill uh, over a thickness that is 10 times the diameter or the characteristic diameter of the shape that we are that we are drilling on. And the last application is uh, this uh, watchmaking demo part that has all the elements or several elements that we often see uh, in uh, uh, watch movement parts. Like for example, this spring, several holes, uh, gears uh, here, gear teeth. Yeah. And what we like to show here, uh, to, what we like to show you here, is the flexibility that we can achieve with a machine that has that is it's, it's specifically designed for laser uh, laser cutting and laser drilling. Huh? We can do obviously the holes. We can do the inside contour, the outside contour everywhere, even here around the spring, but. We can also do chamfering here on the inner uh, on the inner um, um, pocket. On the outside, we can do chamfering as well. But more interestingly, we can do even blind cavities like here. We can do laser ablation with a laser cutting machine. Uh, we can do in the same fashion counterbore here, counterbore features. And this shows this goes to show how flexible just how flexible is our machine and our uh, our programming process. The material of this part uh, is Dernico, which is a steel alloy. It's 0 0.3 uh, millimeters thick. This is the final part, how it looks like. You can come and see it on our stand. And um, it got machined in 20 minutes, 32 seconds. But more important than that is just how easy to program this part is. The full programming of this part takes about one hour and a half. Uh, this provided that the uh, engineer that is programming the part have, has already done in the past the same types of operations. And I mean the cutting of uh, Dornico of 0.3 millimeters thick, um, drilling holes of these typical sizes that we see here and that he performed ablation, laser ablation before. Well, all 
this is known, it's, um, we, uh, we use, uh, our software uses uh, um, a logic of libraries that we can just, where you can just um, um, uh, create and save laser machining strategies and use them for future cases. This is why the programming time is quite light for this part. I'd like to finish this presentation with a few key takeaways. Um, as you've seen, uh, GF Machining Solutions is a key player uh, globally in, in, in laser micromachining. We provide, uh, we, we design and manufacture uh, laser micromachining equipment for different applications and industries, and we, uh, in, in which, uh, in some of them, we are leaders. We have a complete mi laser micromachining portfolio with laser ablation, micro cutting, and micro drilling. We have we we have a, a global footprint and local uh, support uh, throughout our uh, sales companies and, and laser uh, technology centers. What makes possible what you've seen in this presentation, however, is the power of our proprietary CAM solutions that provide. Uh, the uh, maximum quality and maximum productivity and as well the greatest freedom of design. And last but not least, uh, it is possible always to, uh, to, to combine laser with traditional manufacturing technologies and we've done it several times. We have the advantage and the, uh, the privilege to have uh, high-speed milling and die, sink and die sinking and wire EDM in our portfolio. So we can combine these two different technologies to provide the customer the maximum flexibility and value. Um, and also, in this case, uh, what we've done, we've done it because uh, laser micromachining has indeed some limitations that can be easily uh, solved with traditional technologies as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope this uh, presentation was interesting for you. Don't hesitate to contact us for more information and have a great day.